Porous Materials Incorporated is proud to present the flat sheet membrane making apparatus. This machine is capable of making flat sheet polymeric membranes from any conventional polymer at a predetermined thickness, which can be used for various research and development applications. Having been experts on porous materials and membranes for over 35 years, PMI understands the nuances of membrane making and has built this machine to provide the user with maximum control over the membrane making process while maintaining the best in-field user friendliness. Here you can see a basic layout of the machine. From left to right we have the horizontal actuator, doctor's blade, vertical actuators, the membrane casting plate, infrared heater, and the coagulation tank. Fill the coagulation tank with water to roughly two inches from the top. This will allow for submersion of the plate later on. Next we will move the plate back in order to pour the solution. Click on the flat sheet icon to open the software. Then navigate to the manual control panel using the tab at the top. Manual control allows you to select your COM port, connect to the machine, change the vertical speed of the doctor's blade, change the horizontal speed of the membrane plate, and change the direction. Now we're going to back it up. After selecting the left directional key in the manual control, the plate should begin moving backwards. Make sure there is enough clearance under the doctor's blade so it does not scrape as it passes through. We want to back it up to about 2 inches from the end. At this point, we will lower the doctor's blade down and calibrate our zero position with some A4 paper strips. The goal here is to lower down the doctor's blade so that the paper strips are difficult to pull out but not completely stuck. As you can see, there's some resistance while trying to pull it out, but as long as it does not tear, that is what we want. Now we will set the zero point for the doctor's blade. This is done in essentially the same fashion as the step before. The only main difference is instead of using the program to control the actuators up and down, we are now using the more precise micrometer instruments to set the zero point. The goal is the same though. What we are trying to do is to lower it down to a position where the paper is difficult to pull out but is not completely stuck under the doctor's blade. The next step with the doctor's blade involves establishing your desired thickness. This can be done by simply fine-tuning the micrometers on either side at the top of the doctor's blade to whatever thickness you would like. Now that we have the thickness set, we can now begin pouring the polymer solution onto the membrane casting plate. For the best results, it's important to pour the polymer solution as close to the doctor's blade as possible while maintaining an even line. Now we want to tell the program to begin moving the membrane casting plate through the doctor's blade. When the membrane casting plate is approximately all the way through, we want to stop and raise the doctor's blade up. This will prevent any excess polymer solution from falling behind. After raising the doctor's blade up, we can now continue with moving the membrane casting plate into the infrared heater. You can use the heater control in the manual control panel to set and monitor the temperature of your infrared heater. After the membrane casting plate has come to a halt, allow the polymer solution to heat to your desired temperature and for your desired amount of time. Next, we will back the membrane casting plate out of the oven and allow it to cool. After the plate is cool enough to handle, firmly grasp it around the outer edges and transport it over to the coagulation tank. Carefully submerge the plate into the coagulation tank to allow for solvent replacement and polymerization to occur. After allowing some time for the polymerization reaction, we now have our finished flash heat membrane product.